Greetings to all my fellow surgeons. Hi, I am Dr. Simanchal Goyal and today I am going to show you a case of Synergy Implantation. So I am operating a 50 year old VVIP patient who has just got a renal transplant and was given high dose steroids due to which he developed posterior subcapsular cataract. So this kind of cataract is is very easy to operate per se but three or four things which i need to emphasize right here in this instructional video are the importance of an adequately sized rexis how to center an aid of iul like synergy and the importance of anterior capsular polishing so as you can see i have started with the steps which you might already be knowing making the side ports cutting the limbal vessels for a good long term healing of the wound key number 1 as i am implanting a synergy iul we need to center it perfectly because as this patient is 40 years old i need to implant a beautiful iul so that the iul lasts the natural life span of this patient of mine as you can see i have deliberately made a rexis that is 4.5 or 5 mm in diameter which should overlap the iul 360 degrees preventing the migration of anterior capsular stem cells to the posterior capsule which cause pco in the long term so you can see these beautiful hydro delineation waves and hydro dissection waves causing the nucleus to just bulge out of the bag the consistency is very very soft it's like the consistency of curd if i can draw homology between the two coming to the phaco part which is relatively very very easy in these cases you don't need to use any ultrasound energy in these cases you just have to aspirate it right away aspirating the nucleus and the cortex is very easy just using minimal vacuum and that's I would recommend beginners not to attempt this step because it needs a little experience to aspirate to have the confidence to aspirate the cortex by phaco basically you need to be confident with your phaco pedal to do this step you should stick with the standard steps of aspirating the cortex only with i and a coming to the i and a part the second important key step that i want to emphasize in this video would be how to how to polish the anterior capsule so if you read the literature most of the cortical stem cells are located on the under surface of the anterior capsule so once i am done with aspirating the cortex i'll be polishing the under surface of the anterior capsule so here is the manner i am polishing the under surface of the anterior capsule on the left side first mind you the phaco settings should be on the polish mode with a vacuum of 10 to 12 mm of mercury
coming to the right hand side where you can even see the cortical cells being aspirated now if you look closely right here you can even see the clearing of the anterior capsule this is a little difficult manure for the beginners but I would just tell you all to remember this step and that's very important for all your VVIP patients who don't want to go for the complications related with YAG capsulotomy and all that when you are a surgeon you should strive to become a brilliant surgeon not a mediocre one that's what I have always believed in Synergy IUL is a great IUL you should always take care to pick it up carefully so that it does not slip out of your hand How I fold it is also important. You should fold the leading haptic over the optic and the trailing optic also over the optic and push it right in just like this. Loading the cartridge into the shooter and here is the implantation of the IUL. Once the IUL is done, you implant the leading haptic inside the bag and just dial the trailing haptic gently inside the bag. Just like this. Cleaning the visco is easy. You should take care of clearing the visco behind the optic as well. And centering of this IUL is the most critical step. One should center the optical axis of the optical center of the IUL with the Purkinje images of the microscope light. I personally uh, love to shift the IUL slightly on the medial aspect of the optical axis for the patient to have no discomfort in accommodative tasks. So once I implant the IUL in the bag, I just shift the IUL slightly medially to the Purkinje image. And that's it. Hydrating the side ports. Hydrating the main port. Try to hydrate the main port in its roof rather than on the walls that's the most efficient way of hydrating the main port with the best results see how I have shifted the IOL slightly medially and not in the center of the bag and that's it the case is done I'll be ending the case by injecting preservative free intracameral or mox or moxifloxacin. That's it for today folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
let me know if you have any doubts regarding the IUL implantation or cataract surgery in the comments below. Thank you so much.